Hello Kiwi Switch fans. This video is a guide to help you understand how the Kiwi Switches sound and feel with different types of lube, lubing application, switch films, and keycaps. Now there's been a lot of hype in the market for the Kiwi Switches as they do compete well with some of the more expensive tactile switches and come in at around 65 cents per switch. The stems do come pre-lubed from the factory with a really light application and they are very smooth feeling stock. Other YouTubers have noted that while the Kiwi Switches are good stock, they can benefit from switch films to get rid of some of the rattling noise. However, in my own testing, I discovered that simply using films isn't quite enough. So I'll let you decide for yourself in this video. We will compare lubing the bottom housing with lubing the bottom housing and top housing with lubing the bottom housing, top housing, and stem. We will also compare using the Desky switch films versus using the TX switch films and lastly, we will compare using the Crytox 205G0 lube with the Tribosis 3204 lube. My test bench for this setup is an EpoMaker GK68XS, which has a five pin hot swap setup. This board has both case foam and plate foam installed. And I'll leave a link to my modding video in the description down below. So let's get started. So first up we have here is the stock Kiwi switch. Next, we have a bottom housing only lubed with Desky's films. Next, we have lubed the top housing, bottom housing, and stem, and included Desky's films. Next, we have lubed just the top and bottom housing and left the stem stock and included Desky's films. On the right side here, we have is the bottom housing only lubed with TX films. And finally, we have a fully lubed top and bottom housing plus stem with TX film. That first test was using OEM profile keycaps. In this next set, I'll be using SA profile keycaps for comparison. As you could hear from that past test, the stock switches are very rattly and are probably not usable from a sound perspective. You would at bare minimum need to have films installed on the switches and lubing the bottom housing actually still causes a fair amount of rattle on the upstroke. So from this test, you can hear that the fully lubed switches and the switches that have the top housing lube but may not have the stems lubed have significantly less rattle on the upstroke. From my perspective, the fully lube switches sound the best, but you definitely lose some tactility. In this final part of the video, we will compare using Tribosis 3204 with using Crytox 205G0. All previous switches featured in this video were lubed using Crytox 205G0. What I have done with these two new test switches is lube the top housing, bottom housing, and spring with Tribosis 3204. This left switch under the I key is filmed with a desky switch film, and the right switch under the left bracket key is filmed with a TX switch film. There is a Crytox near equivalent switch with the TX film under the right bracket key. And subsequently, there is a Crytox equivalent switch with the Desky's film under the P key. So without further ado, let's get into the sound tests.
So in that last part of the video, we saw switches lubed with Crytox 205G0 versus switches lubed with Tribosis 3204. We also compared different switch films in those scenarios with Deskies and TX switch films. I know that there was a lot of information to process, so please rewind and re-listen if you need to go check that out again. That being said, I personally feel like the Crytox 205G0 Lube was able to do a little bit better job dampening the sound coming, or the rattling sound rather, coming from the switches. But again, that's just personal opinion. So definitely comment in the section below on what your preference specifically was in those tests. So to summarize the previous sections of the video, we looked at different types of lubing application also with different types of switches as well. And the conclusion from that section, in my opinion, is you should lube the Kiwi switches both on the top and bottom housing and springs at minimum. I don't believe that you can really use the switches stock, especially if you don't wanna hear some sort of rattling noise a lot, very much so on the upstroke of the key. So whenever you lift your finger up and the stem is hitting the top housing, there is definitely a significant rattle that you can hear. So definitely go back and look at the sound tests and listen very carefully for that rattling noise. The Switch film does do a good job of mitigating some of that noise. That being said, I personally feel like you at least need to, to lube the top housing or you could also lube the stem as well. However, I feel like lubing the stem reduces tactility a little bit too much for me, for my personal preference. I know we didn't really talk as much about the feeling of the actual Switch itself, I'm actually gonna do a separate video on comparing different types of tactile switches. So for example, comparing the Kiwis versus Zelios, Blueberries, Koalas, Holy Pandas, etc. So definitely look out for that in a future video. That being said, with this particular video, we were just covering the lubing and filming guide in particular with regards to the Kiwi switches. And like I said, my personal preference was to just lube the top and, top and bottom housing and preserve the tactility. So going back to my particular board and the setup that I chose, I initially got the Kiwi switches and based off of previous recommendations from other YouTubers, I had only lubed the bottom housing and installed the switch films. And so the previous sound test that I had done on my channel was just lubing the bottom and installing a switch film. And so that was the sound test. I'm actually gonna give you a very, very quick new sound test where I went back and I re-lubed all the top housings of all my Kiwi switches and reinstalled them. So it was a very time consuming process, but I actually do feel like the sound is noticeably better after going back and lubing the top housing. So I'll let you make that decision for yourself as well. And with that, thanks for watching. Really appreciate it if you made it this far. Definitely comment with your thoughts below and I will see you in the next one. See ya.